it's carburetor parts here. Um, I'm going to explain how to set the idle and idle mixture on uh, a carburetor. Now, this particular carburetor is a Carter WCFB four barrel, but the principle is basically the same on all carburetors. So, um, somebody was asking a question about this particular carburetor. That's why I have it out here. But first of all, these are the idle mixture screws here. There's two of them. Um, you got like two barrels on one side and two on the other, which equals four, of course. And uh, the idle screw is right here. This one here. And then there's a fast idle screw. Now, on a lot of carburetors, like a two jet, uh, the idle screw and the fast idle screw is the same thing. It's just that you adjust the idle with the screw on the low step of the fast idle cam and then the high speed you close the choke valve and put it on the high side and that's that's how you adjust the high speed so anyway so to adjust the idle mixture screw first of all we need the carburetor operating temperature we need the choke fully opened like a so and Make sure that this your fast idle is on the low part of the cam. And then you just adjust it here. And what this actually does when you adjust this, it actually opens up the throttle valve slightly. Okay? The more you turn it in, the more the throttle valve is going to open and the faster the idle is going to be. So you want to set the RPM at whatever the manufacturer says, five, six hundred, whatever it is. And the engine warmed up, choke open. And then we set the idle mixer screw. We take one at a time. First thing I always do is I turn them out a little ways, as long as it doesn't kill the engine. Okay, just to make sure they're not in too far. Initially, uh, when you uh, have it on the bench like this and you're just getting started, you just rebuilt it. Turn the screws all the way in, uh, gently seating it, and then turn them out counterclockwise a turn and a half. And that's a good starting point. Turn and a half, two turns, okay? And uh, so that with the engine running, I'm going to turn them out a little bit, make sure they're not in too far. Now I'm going to hook either a vacuum gauge to this thing, um, to the intake somewhere. Where you get full vacuum or I do it by ear okay you can also put a, a uh, rpm uh, meter on here a tack tachometer and do it that way but basically it's it's all the same uh, you take one side you turn it a quarter of a turn you wait for the uh, rpm to settle out and then you do the other side same thing quarter turn let the rpm settle about it out and you're watching your vacuum gauge if you have one hooked up and you're basically one quarter turn at a time on each one you're trying to get it uh, oh I see this one's bent okay so that should be replaced uh, so what you want is the vacuum meter to be nice and steady you want your uh, RPM gauge to be steady if you're using that. Or the way I do is I, I start turn in when the engine starts to lag. Uh, then I turn it back out a quarter turn each side. Same thing on this side. Okay. Do them equally one time. Just keep going back and forth until you get your best uh, steady idle. That's what you're looking for at the correct idle speed all right so now that you got that done you want to get your high speed now to do that just close your choke and your screw whether it's your idle screw or a fast idle screw they're usually the same this one happens to be separate is sitting on the high part of the cam or a higher part I should say 
and then uh, you'd get underneath here this one's hard to do with it on the vehicle uh, and you turn it to get your desired fast RPM and like I say choke is closed and you're going to set it to whatever it is uh, 1200 usually something around there okay so you see how that works now when the choke opens this is going to open up and when it's cold it's going to go like here to the high step and what that does is actually open up the uh, throttle valves that's what this is all about open up the throttle valves let more air in uh, engine vacuum okay so as simple as that is that now if you can't get a good steady rpm uh, by adjusting these or by adjusting them doesn't make any difference then you got a carburetor trouble in sight uh, it could be dirty uh, idle passage here take these out and blow through here I like to blow through with uh, carb cleaner uh, to make sure they you go out the other end and uh, with the carburetor part you find all these small passageways that go to the idle uh, to the idle mixture here and make sure they're all cleaned out okay and simple as that all right